A lot to learn yet. Some, we got some things that we need to do better. Uh, we, you know, uh, you know, we made some bonehead fouls. We took some bad shots, and you, you just can't, you can't do that. You know, you, it, game. We got we're up by ten. You know, they're a good team. They're gonna make a run, but you don't help them out by making some fouls. And you know, I thought we overreacted. We got a little. We started to panic. Yeah. And you can't panic, okay? What you got to do is settle down and get a bucket to end the run. And I thought we panicked. I mean, the biggest challenge tonight probably for you guys is Reese. He scored 25 points, and he, he was going back and forth. You guys, in the beginning of the game, it was back and forth from deep. And, I mean, all the way up until the end, it was a dog fight. Yeah, you know, he, you know, they ran some stuff. He got some really good looks, and he made shots. And once he got it rolling, it was hard to get him to, to get him to stop. But, you know, I've watched a couple of their games. They were 13 for 25 from behind the three-point line. I think that might be the best they shot all season. But, hey, you know what? Obviously, it's something we're not doing well because everyone's shooting the ball like that on us. Talk about Prince tonight. He scored 15 points. He had that buzzer beater three at the end of the third. Yeah. Played a great game today. Yeah, you know, uh, we lost him early in the Richmond Heights game. He got injured, and uh, that hurt us. But today, uh, you know, he's still got uh, he's nursing a groin pull. But uh, he played hard, did a lot of good stuff. You know, he stayed, stayed composed except for that last. We inbound the ball at the half court, and he kind of was looking for uh, someone to come to the ball, and I'm like, no, you know, you can still dribble and be a, an attack, but he, he didn't understand. So, but he's young; he's a sophomore, and you know, when you got as many sophomores and young guys playing as we do, uh, it's going to be it's, we're going to be good. Jason's leadership presence, as you said before, he's the only returning senior from last year's lineup, and tonight he kept you guys heads up and in check. I watched him multiple times talking to his players after yeah. missed three, foul. Yeah. You just kind of speak on that. Well, you know, Jason's a leader. You know, he's a senior leader. We have to have that from him. And, you know, I'm trying to help him understand that it's not about point score. It's about, you know, the leadership and, you know, getting other guys on page, making sure other guys are doing what they need to do, and then creating a shot for those guys. And you can create one for yourself, but help the other guys out creating one for them. What were your thoughts on those final 30 seconds? I mean, they almost got the three, and then they chose to drive him for a layup. Just talk about how your team forced them into that. Yeah, you know, we, we weren't going to give up the three. We understood if they make a layup, they, they were still up by one. So uh, we were willing to give up the two. We just uh, we defended it well. They had some, uh, again, uh, some screening action on the uh, on the three-point line that had hurt us early, but we guarded it well that last time, and uh, it was able to get... Uh, get, you know, get the result we wanted. And once the, you know, the great thing about high school basketball for us tonight was the clock doesn't stop. You know, the ball went uh, went through. We just hey, don't inbound it. Michael Walter understood well enough. He didn't need to inbound it, and uh, you know, that's how it worked. It's great game today. Thank, thank you.